yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I'm the hardest bitter. Man, I like, yeah, I'm that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nasty, boy. Man, I like, yeah, the hardest bitter. I said, man, I like, yeah, the hardest bitter. 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 Man, I like, yeah,
don't be even about like you've earned it. Bro, I've already bought it off the bottles in this league. I'ma stick you in the same furnace. You ain't worth it, cause all you do is spit a load of reaches. Or a shitty little grind like grind round like we ain't heard it. And I bet you don't come talking about how that clip is bursting or my man will light up this bitch whip like he's purging, it's murder. Mm. See, I didn't come to talk about that Raptor situation. I read any of the shit that him and his mates did. But I will say this, one of my boys in the crowd that lost money on that event and after this he likes a quick chat about repayments because if you're the type to come with him talking road shit in a battle, if you're the type to talk about it down a station, which is pretty funny because that's almost exactly what all of his mates did, so I'll say this. There's no one set. And I say that without respect. If this wasn't my event, you'd leave the venue without your head, so don't make me relapse. Don't make me relapse, because I've turned this to an 8 a meeting. Them shots have Zen trying to recount his steps. Fucking Zen! Them shots have Zen trying to recount his steps. Fucking Zen. Fucking Zen. <laughs> Bro, your name sounds like a fucking lightsaber sound effect. <laughs> yeah, baby. You wanna try and uh, mention that situation again? Hard and shout shit? Yep. But it all backfired, bro. I ain't even got a single bar about it. Fucking <laughs> shit. Anyway, bro. Uh, so it's. AKA the professional side man. <laughs> if Shotty's after Canada, he's collecting the flight plan. <laughs> if Raptor's after Cowie, he's getting him nine grand, and if Bobby's wanting booze, then he's ready with five cans. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you uh, remind me of Mike Tyson in every fight, fam, the way you've gone and invested your life plan just trying to be known for that incredible right hand. Yeah. You know, I mean, I thought Shotty was gonna be here. So that's what the talk was about. <laughs> I said, that's what the talk is about. Turns out he doesn't have to turn up as long as his dwarf is about. <laughs> yeah, because he's sorting out all of that. This bread is so short and fat he could torture a torture rack. Yo, any big sport is wow. He's the sort of twat to think a quarterback was a form of snack. <laughs> this guy, man. So he's um, talking guy. smack, but the difference is this midget brings only scraps with his fish and chips. You're a side man building bridges with spitters so you can live a bit. Imagine him and Raptor get a shitty gig for 50 quid. <laughs> Within 60 quick seconds he's taken an insta bid of him and Raptor sat on the 56 with a snapback <laughs> sipping drinks and a hashtag saying business trip. <laughs> yo, here we go. Yo, this, yo, this one's about to be real technical. Do you want to know what rhymes with Briggs? He's a ginger bitch. What? Fuck no, it's fam, but Briggs is a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like this, bro. Briggs is a ginger bitch. And do you know what it, the fact is, Briggs, it's like this. Yo, that shit will not settle. You ain't nothing but a weak writer aligned with a team of elite writers. Yeah, and you named yourself after any people, you named yourself after M. Bison from Street Fighter. In that case, you should have been called C. Viper. A bitch with a red head, I guess he just seems like her. Yeah, so that shit it will not settle. Ironic he named himself after M. Bison, but this side man will never reach boss level. Oh. Mm. And just to finish, how many people in your team really think that I uh, really rate you, bro? I'm willing to bet most of them do. You know why, you lot? Because he's that mate who stays in second place doing loads for the group, just wishing one day he'll get to stand on that same podium too. And that's time. Oh. 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 See, I've just done a whole round <laughs> and not even mentioned the size of that nose, mate. Because <laughs> that is fucking hench, bro. See, we wanted Zen to come to Dublin, but he told us he wasn't available for the event, though, which was cool, you know, we had no reason to assume any less, though. And until a week later, he's on the news with a rescue team and them 12 Thai kids stuck at the back of Zen's nose. <laughs> <laughs> See, Zen's the type of rapper that likes to talk about the guns he's tucking, fam. He's also the same type of rapper that likes to jump on live streams, calling him Raptor a Muppet, and then he saw him and took it back. Bloody Faris. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Faris. Bro, you're the type to put the word shook in fucking shook his hand. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and that's about to get rocky, try pox me at Club of Lang, see what you failed to understand? In this battle shit, you're a side bitch. Don't watch that. The only reason you got in this team with all your friends is because shots dropped out. You never even got picked. So you can bring three rounds talking about that metal. I'll turn this venue to a mosh pit and you can watch Bridge rip apart then. He'll have a worse retaliation than don't flop did. <laughs> about to be superb like Billy Saunders time. Oh, Alright, here we go. Yo, okay, so I said, how can you talk about don't flop retaliation and earth? I know this bro would come striking, but you can't talk shit about earth. You came here and horse just like him. And do you know what the fact of the matter is, bro? Do you know what? Everybody knows me, and when I freestyle with these flips, I'm never phony. He said my nose is so big, fuck that shit, you already know me. This brother's so short and fat, he could be one of my bogeys. Yo, chill, chill, chill. So speaking of being a side man, Briggsy, I know you love Raptor, and let's be honest, my G, yes. I know you're your fucking brethren, but just between me and you, Briggsy, I know that you does your head in. How many times has he been out sniffing coke and you've been trying to ring his phone to bring him home and all you're getting is the busy talk? <laughs> How many times have you had to hit some random city bro just trying to find Ryan so the guy wouldn't miss his coach? Listen bro, I see red when I point out Briggsy's head, that's a hair trigger. Your biggest contribution to battle rap is literally being Raptor's caregiver. <laughs> For example, how many times has he been out taking Molly on Friday and you've had to spend your whole night just reminding him to constantly hydrate? <laughs> <laughs> That's what friends are for! <laughs> That's a true friend! Reminding him to constantly hydrate. You know why? Because he's a fiend for the tackle. How many times has he had no fee for his travel because he spent his whole pee from the battle? Because <laughs> you being in sideman fashion, you went and gave him cash, knowing full well that motherfucker was never going to pay you back. <laughs> I mean, you even organised his whole league trying to help him out. Turns out he went and lost every battle, every round, <laughs> and all he had to say for himself was, Sorry bro, I let you down! <laughs> Kip at your crib. He's woke up in the middle of the night and took a piss in his bin. <laughs> and in the morning, he's got to explain the stink to his kids while they're popping their head in it trying to figure out what the mystery is. <laughs> Tell them to proceed with a lot of precaution. Briggsy, I know being friends with Raptor might make you feel proper important, but you need to stop it and sort it and actually draw a line, even though Raptor would just probably snort it. <laughs> Now he's talking about personal, <laughs> but it's something I'd like to discuss then. So let's be honest. <laughs> After match day one, we went for karaoke. You were catching bigger rounds with less Bonics. Now I heard that night you went to a hotel, eh? Left the same hotel with a set of sweaty bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> now imagine if everyone in this room now that you sweat with. Now I'm not going to say a name, bro. All I'll say is Rowan's ex. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, let's say. Could have been anyone, Moose. Could have been anyone. <laughs> Keep going! Go chill! Rowan Tex! Hold it down! Play the You know how my man pulled up? Spat a, spat a grime round down a rear for the fucking whole event. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even lying. <laughs> Danny Jack was in the same room, he knows it. But the worst part of this, and I swear on my kid's life for the whole night, she was calling him little baby Rowan. Oh my god! Oh! 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 Now it's out, now it's out in the public. I guess you know it now. Do you reckon when he was shagging and she was moaning, he was telling her to hold it down? Imagine I was the one that got fucked over by Rowan, but you're the one that knows how his dick tastes. Oh! Oh! Let's bring it to the fact it was Rowan's ex. I'm gonna keep going back there because it's really um fucking hell, really. What's the word? Oh, <laughs> you haven't you spat five rounds about Raptor. Um, <laughs> 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 I'll dig my way out of it. You fuck Rowan's ex, bro. The best thing to do is make a three hour podcast podcast with Tom Quee and pretty much everyone forgets about it. After a technically impressive first, Zen squandered some spots on his later rounds whilst Briggsy utilised position as league owner and man in the know to deadly effect. This was a good battle, with some new angles and polished performances. Briggsy will no doubt be overjoyed to bring the points home for the team, but Zen shouldn't be too downtrodden. He did great here. Yo, what's going on, man? Major concerns there at match day four. Just watch as Zen versus Briggsy. Probably battle of the day for me so far, considering it's such a stacked card. That's crazy. But yeah, uh, into the judging, I got... Zen uh, winning structure 6-4, I've got Briggsy taking performance 7-3, and then content I've got uh, Briggsy winning 7-5, uh, so overall 18-14 uh, to Briggsy. So. Yo, what's good, it's Alistine judging this Zen versus Briggs. Uh, structure i gave it six four to zen wasn't too sure about like how structure set out but for me it was just briggs's chokes and also they were kind of coming at it from different places zen was doing a bit more of the old school uh kind of stacking grinds together whereas briggs was just punch 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 uh performance it was an, again another six four two zen just for the chokes the third round choke and a little stumble in the second but i will say that briggs had the bar of the battle in the second, the dot flop retaliation stuff, that was great. And then content is 4 6 to Briggs. Uh, the only round I had Zen edging Briggs on content was the third, but they were both absolutely genius angles. I just personally enjoyed Zen's Raptor angle more than I enjoyed the other stuff, but they were both brilliant angles, and I did, throughout the course of the battle, edge Briggs just on much stronger punchline count. So overall, I gave it as close as you can get. Well, one point out. 16 14 to Zen. Cheers. Uh, right, Mike Judging, Briggsy versus Zen. Up the structure, I've got it 5 5 each. Performance, 7 3 Briggsy. Content, 4 6 to Zen. Leaving it, 16 14 Briggsy. Sorry, good battle.